seconds. All right, we're gonna look at some of the worst picks. These are gonna be our shoe scum awards, our toilet bowl uh, projections. Let's see, what do you think is the third worst pick on the board? Well, first of all, let's ask, did you like the pick of Heath Miller, Mr. Steeler Man? No, he didn't. What do we got over here? Negative. That's, no, that's Heath negative. Miller, huh? And the fifth round, I just, I don't think you can justify Heath Miller in the fifth round. Uh, what you're saying with that pick is that uh, at that point, once the top four tight ends are gone, which would be Gates, uh, Winslow, Witten, and uh, who is the He just missed out on Gonzalez and Cooley. Right. I like Gonzalez, but uh, just missed out on Gonzalez. He goes with Heath Miller uh, late in the fifth round. Could have had a shot at maybe Ton Heath. Could have had a shot at Steve Smith, Marvin Harrison. Uh, we're going with Heath Miller. How many points per week is he going to get you? Maybe five. That's, uh, that's he, has, he has this illusion of scoring lots of touchdowns where he really doesn't, nor does he get the yards. Uh, I just don't think that he, uh, with Santonio Holmes getting more touchdowns this year, uh, that's even fewer that he's going to catch. Uh, just, I, I did not like the Heath Miller pick. Maybe in the seventh round you can justify that pick, but it's all about value, and Heath Miller in the fifth round is not a good value pick. All right, I'm going to have to go with my third worst. is going to come in the second round when I think Matt got a little bit caught up on that running back trend, and he went with Ronnie Brown, and he opted not to take Clinton Portis, who most people had him overall, probably the seventh best player in the draft, maybe even the sixth in some. Uh, taking Ronnie Brown, missing Portis, that's a, that's a big no-no. I'm going to say that is the third worst pick in the draft. But did Cabell like it? Yes, he did. <laughs> yes, he did. Buccaneers says no. He says no. All right, let's go. This is the second worst pick on the board. What do you have to say? Well, this one was a tough one. I really wanted to give this the first one. I've already touched on it earlier. Edron James in the third round. I just can't get over taking Edron James in the third round. I don't like Baroni or Turner, but I think it's more justifiable to take either of them, let alone to take Gates uh, or, or a handful of other picks there. Uh, even Kellen Winslow, Torrey Holt, Chad Johnson. Uh, there's a new number, numerous picks that he could have taken there, not Edwin James. Edwin James in the fifth round at best. Look how far Jamal Lewis fell, Rudy Johnson, that's the kind of company he's in. So not only is it it's a bad pick for James, you're also suggesting maybe you know, Greg didn't get great picks, but he got what he paid for. Right. With Maroney and Turner at those picks, and James could have had either one. Right. All right. Uh, I'll agree with that. I'm looking at my second worst pick on the board. It really bothers me, Rick, that you went ahead and took McNabb, your second quarterback, in the seventh round. Uh, you know what's going to save you later on the season is going to have a stable of running backs, receivers. You're looking at a quarterback who you're going to start: uh, McNabb, Roethlisberger. Man. Well, your next pick is the Bears. I'm really struggling with that. You passed up on uh, Calvin Johnson, Joey Galloway, Lindell White, and Julius Jones. These are the guys who probably should have been taken at that spot. He has no backup running back. I mean, D'Angelo Williams is going to be the backup to Jonathan Stewart. And for anybody that's had him the last few years split, splitting carries with Deshaun Foster, he's not the answer. And I would have no problem with Julius Jones with that pick. No. You know, Julius Jones is a starter, and he's going to get the bulk of the carries. That's all you can ask for from a backup. you got to look You got to look farther down the line when you're looking at backup quarterbacks. I think that is the second worst pick in the draft. Uh, now we're going for... This is the gold. This is the uh, worst pick on the board. What do you got? Uh, I gotta go with. Uh, I gotta. I gotta go back to Jeff here. Philip Rivers. What are you doing, Jeff? Uh, the sixth round pick, Philip Rivers. If Philip Rivers is your guy, more power to you. If you know some inside information, more power to you. But why not take him in the ninth round? Okay, because I promise you, no one else is taking Philip Rivers. Just an awful, awful value pick. I don't even. I got Philip Rivers as the 22nd best quarterback on this cheat sheet. Did 22 quarterbacks even go in our draft? No, uh, not likely. Uh, I, think two, I think two teams took three, so that would be 22 quarterbacks on the dot. Well, that's tough. Uh, yeah, I think this time Greg Mons do take a like. I marked Philip Rivers as the worst pick in the draft. And